So, Paul, could you uh, resolve an argument for me? Uh, because mm. this is quite nerdy. So, when you were first cast as Jarvis, yes, was there ever any semblance of an idea that you might go on to play Vision? Nope. Zero plan. Zero plan. So when did they say, hang on, not just voicing it, we want you to... I can tell you exactly. And it's a rather good story. And it just happens to be the truth, which is... Uh, uh, you read? Um, I had just uh, had a meeting with a producer who will remain nameless, who told me that my career was over. And he said, you're done. You're done in this town. And I, I was like, you know what? And sort of had this big shouting match at him, and then I walked outside. My legs went wet. My legs went. I was like, "God, oh, maybe I'm done in the business." And I sat down on Sunset Boulevard on the sidewalk, and my phone rang, and it was Joss Whedon, and he said, "Do you want to be the Vision in the Avengers?" And I went, "Yes, I do." <laughs> and that was that's that's a true story. That's exactly what happened. That's one of the best phone calls I can imagine ever happening, let alone in that I moment. I really, really needed it right then. Yeah, it was a great phone call to get. Brilliant. Now, <laughs> this isn't an, a, an argument solver, Elizabeth, but mm. are these movies the ones where you get the weirdest uh, director's notes insofar as you don't know what you're fighting against or what you're talking against and you're moving your hands around and people say, actually, we like what you're doing with moving your hands, but could you do it differently? It is always funny to watch a movie for the first time, one of these films, because I truly, I'm always shocked by like, oh damn, I didn't know they're gonna make my eyes red in that moment. That helped my performance, thank you guys. And uh, I don't really know what I'm fighting and I don't really know what my powers are doing, but I really make believe in my head. I know exactly what's going on. So when it changes, it's really fun for me to watch. It's not like um, Laura Dern in that last Star Wars movie where when she's shooting a blaster, she actually said pew, pew, pew. I went pew, pew. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's an issue that I have sometimes. I'm, I go, I, I make sounds while I'm going like just in order to like get the energy. Ooh, we'll do that later. And so, yeah. then I, so then I have to remember to make my mouth still. And go, and go. <laughs> it was definitely something I, I was really insecure about. Firing a thing out of my yeah, and you're like, head. and you're and I'm going here. like this. And I'm on my knees and I'm firing this thing out of my head. I think and I know which scene you're talking about. And Joss came up to me and he said, uh, are, you, "Are you good with that?" And I was like. Just, I don't know, man. I'm on my yeah. knees shooting a beam out of my head. I got no idea. Can you tell me? Did it look cool? I, I, how did it feel? It felt pretty stupid. I, <laughs> <laughs> it feels pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then they, you know, and then you have to make a sound to it in ADR. And yeah. then they're like, can you make an effort sound for that? And you're like, sure, is this one good? Uh, ow. Ow. <laughs> I mean, who knows? It could also just be like a... Like a wink, like a zing. <laughs> Next like movie, a, <laughs> for me, just drop a wink. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more, check out my BBC iPlayer show, Movies with Ali Plum. And don't forget to listen to me on Greg James's show on BBC Radio 1 every Thursday at about quarter past six, where you can hear the very latest movie reviews from yours truly. <laughs>